Hey everybody, today is June 22nd, 2017 and we are ready for the next update. So today we're going to start with showing you some of the fruits that have formed already and then we'll go and do the usual update. So on this side we have the Staracha F2. These, this guy is throwing out all kinds of funky shapes. It's a very nice looking plant and let me show you some of the fruits. They're very, very nice and, and crazy looking. So look at this one here it has like a really cool looking stinger and then bumps everywhere but these are the bumps are like really different because they're like more like thorns than bumps and the skin is kind of smooth like the parent plant before but these these pimple right here like they're like thorns sticking out so that's one of them here's another one This one looks a little strange also. So there are these thorns sticking out. And then look at this one. See those thorns right there? And it has a little tail too. And then on this side you're gonna see some crazy looking shapes here. But look at this one here. See that hook? And there's this other one that also has the same hook right here. Very interesting. Oh, and this one too. Look at that. Got that crazy hook. So there, there's a few different types of shapes that uh, are forming right now. So they're pretty inconsistent. But the one I really want is uh, similar to this. These. But I'll show you a few more that are more perfect shape that I want than these. So that's one of the Staracha F2. Here's another one. Let me show you. Okay, here's the other one. And this one is even crazier. It has... Look at that one. So last year I have a shape that's very similar to this. And that is what is grown out. And the shape is very much like the parent plant. And then this one here, I have no idea where it came from, but it looks it looks just strange. And then let me show you some more. I don't know what that one looked like, but uh, I'm getting a ton of fruit, so uh, uh, in a few months there's gonna be a, a lot more to show. So let me show you another one. All right, here it is. This is actually the clone of the plant that you just saw, the larger one. So I took two cuttings and I threw it into my arrow garden and once they rooted, I took it outside so now it's, they're very beautiful and large. But this plant produces some of the best looking pheno. Look at this one. You see that one there? That's the one I really want. So seeds will be saved from this one. And then look at this one here as well. Look at that. That beautiful shape. That's what I want exactly. And then there's another one here. See that in there? Those are the shape that I really want. So this is my champion for seed saving. And here is the F3 of the Staracha. So see my sign right there. I have three of these guys this year. So we'll see how they turn out. White tie, favorite of mine. So I grow a bunch of these every year. See the beautiful fruits here. So there's a lot more coming out and check out this my bonsai tree. You see how small this guy is? And it has a, a few fruits, but look at the size of the stem right there. Very, very nice and thick and it's it's very short. <laughs> nice looking plant there. I may put it in a nicer pot soon so that it can look like an actual bonsai. Alright, here's a few more and these guys are just sitting right in the sun all day long so they're not doing very well they drop all their buds because it's really really hot right now Bahamian goat probably not gonna fruit at all actually there is one so there it is there we'll see if it sticks Reaper here contest plants it dropped all the buds I mean it has a ton of uh, flowers but none of them are sticking it's so hot right now Here's another Staracha F2, pretty nice plants, dropped all the buds as well, so nothing from him as of yet. Bahamian Go contest plant, not doing too good. 
I see a bunch of other people they're up to like 40 50 pods already I'm at zero and then here's another cross of my own it all of the buds are dropping so it, see it, it turns to these yellow color and then it just falls off and so no fruits there okay here's another one here this is a chocolate scotch bonnet crossed with a tie dropping buds as well so nothing there and this is a, another cross of my own MOA crossed with a Bahamian goat the F2 here looking forward to that one okay here's another of my white tie as I mentioned before I love this variety it's so beautiful look at the, all the different colors purple it'll turn golden a little bit and then it will go to red green white all kinds of cool stuff produced like crazy too so it's a great plant to grow ground cherry is burning up right now it's too hot one of my other crosses lost the tag for that one Franken tree got a few nice looking fruits I showed in the in a different video so I'll link you guys if you want to watch it but it has wrinkle fruit from the Trinidad scorpion smooth fruit from my other cross and I have a uh, bleeding Borg 9 somewhere on here but that's not fruiting at all and another great looking plant uh, I don't know where I put the tag but man it is producing like crazy flowers everywhere fruits all over the place it's a huge heavy producer look at this uh, look at that interesting shapes too see that there it's a pretty compact looking plant but uh, as you can see there are flowers everywhere and here's my volunteer I just let it grow I mean I got a bunch of volunteers all over the place see there They're everywhere and then this is a pumpkin hab that I propagated from last year. This is one plan that my brother gave me. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out soon. All right, guys, many people have asked about fertilizer and what do I use? And I usually try to keep it very simple. And early on, uh, when the plants are young, I like to use these. Uh, this one here is a 523. So it's a good, good uh, type of fertilizer to use for growing plants. I'm going to show you how to do this. I, I always go half strength, so it says uh, um, one tablespoon per gallon. So uh, for these five, I usually put about three scoops. guys here are the rest of the plants these guys are looking fantastic today I still have some issues but uh, most of them have been taken care of I have some leaf footed nymphs they're all over the plants I just treated them so they're they're pretty much gone now but um, they look like uh, assassin buds but they have like uh, like flat foot like their hind legs are flat so they look it looks like a leaf so that's why they call them leaf footed nymphs but anyway, let me show you what's going on today. After fertilizing, they're starting to come back and producing right now. So there's a few plants with fruits and there's a few plants that have really nice fruits. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So let's go around here. Um, this is my MOA cross. This is a ghost plant. Oh, here it goes. This is the leaf footed nymphs. I just sprayed it so they're, they're gone. But uh, a ghost plant producing fruits here not bad and this is the reaper actually no this is a one of my crosses um, looking very very nice producing one fruit right there and then this is another ghost uh, you see all the leaves has been chewed on and here 
is a reaper and the plants are looking really really nice and there's some fruits right there some right here but lots of flowers a lot of them are dropping because it's so hot right now and here is MOA Scotch Bonnet, that's another one there. This is one of my MOA Cross. And this is the Jamaican MOA. Chocolate Scotch Bonnet. Here's my Staracha F2. Has some fruits right there. Pretty good Fina. There's a few in there. Uh, with the good Fina, but can't reach in there and chocolate scotch bonnet here's another ghost that are doing really really well has some fruits on it look at this so ghosts are one of the most productive varieties that i've ever grown and the fruits are really nice and spicy so they're good in uh, sauce and also very very good as dry powder and let me see this one here another staracha f2 Look at that, that has some fruit there. Look like the pheno is turning out really nice, but we'll, see. we'll wait and see. I have a few other ones that are looking way better. And another one might plant, uh, MOA cross again. And what is this one here? This is the Staracha F3. It's not doing too well right now, but it's I'll keep an eye on that one. And then here, check out these chocolate ghosts. Man, this guy is producing like crazy. Look at the size of these fruits. They're very, very nice quality. And then, look at that. So they're all over the place. They're producing like crazy. So lots and lots of fruits. You see that? Look at this. Very, very beautiful. Let me turn this around. There's more back here. See? That is a gigantic pot there. Very nice. So I'll have a lot of good pods to pick soon. Here's some more here. Man, it's producing a lot for a small tree. There's some back there. Okay. And next is my other cross this is a really nice cross here that I that I thought was dead but it came back and look at this and this is the F I think it's the F2 see there so I found a tag for this so it's a uh, my stargazer so when Susan see this, she's gonna be surprised because I was dying to have fruits last year. So there it is there. Look at this. The fruits are really, really cool. Sharp with a sharp tip there. And then the tree is just really crazy looking because it grows just up. It doesn't shoot out its sides or anything like that. And the leaves are extremely green. And I have another fruit somewhere here. Look at this. See, very, very nice. And I actually ate one of this uh, last week because I had a red pot. I just wanted to try it. Man, it's really good. It tastes like a scotch bonnet, but the heat is somewhere up there. But the flavor is amazing. So I have another one here. Look, look at the tiny one. <laughs> okay, so I was... I'll show more of the, this guy later on once they start to ripen and produce more but uh, it doesn't seem to be producing too much so really looking forward to harvesting some nice ones to grow um, chocolate ghost crossed with a peach I think yeah Jay's peach ghost times chocolate look at this guy you see those all of those fruits under the canopy they're beautiful so I gave seeds for this in the last giveaway, so guys, if you haven't uh, seen what the plant looked like, here it is. And look at all those chocolate pods there already. I got lots of them. <laughs> so every branch has some fruit. Very beautiful. They're all hanging 
on the underside so it, it makes it look extra nice and when you look from the top it doesn't look like it has fruits but if you go down here look at that <laughs> next uh, that one is a volunteer I think it might be a Peking because uh, these guys drop fruits and it 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 do grow like crazy and here it is, Peking, very large. I just trimmed it back, but still the size of that trunk. See, almost as big as that one inch PVC. And then the Thai, white Thai, produce all the time. I keep picking these to eat, and they keep coming back. Uh, another one I just added recently, and this Peking here was a volunteer. And look at this, look, uh, hundreds of fruits already for, for a small plant. And I didn't even grow this, it just dropped from the parent tree and then I just left it there and then it grew. Look at all. Very nice. Okay, one more thing. Check out my watermelon. This is the Carolina, actually Charleston Gray, I think. The Charleston Gray. I got one nice fruits there. I'm so excited about this guy. So uh, yeah guys, that's it. Oh, actually there's another one over there. Look at that. Okay. All right, that's all for this video. If you uh, have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And thank you so much for watching.